Hey, Grandpa. Got here as soon as I could. It's all right. We have spent plenty of time together today. I decided it would be the last. I'm sorry that Mom and Dad couldn't be here. It is what it is, my dear. I have thought about this long and hard. I have something for you. The rest I have left to the family. But this, this is for you. I cherish the time I've shared on this earth, longer than most could imagine. I leave you with this ring, a relic that I was given long ago. It has brought me luck. It is a reminder of the life I've lived. Wear it always and you will never be alone. Good dancer. I know. You should uh maybe give me your number. I can take you out to this club, I know. I don't I don't know you. <laughs> My name's Jack. Yours? Danielle. Well, Danielle, now that we know each other, why don't you come back over to my place where we can make sweet, sweet love all night? <laughs> Seriously? Worth the try. Really wasn't. I get it. You want to get to know each other. I understand. Fortunately, I'm on my way out. So, just, you know, maybe give me a number and we can take things a little slower. Yeah. I don't think I'll be doing that. How about this? You give me your number. Mm -hmm. We'll talk. And if after 20 minutes I'm not the most charming guy ever, we'll just talk some more. Maybe I can win you over. I really gotta go, like, time crunch. Fine. But my cousin's a cop, so you better not be a crazy psycho. Gout's on it. Talk to you later, Danielle. not listening to me. I'm listening to you, Kylie. I just don't agree with you because what you're saying is stupid. What, you're calling me stupid now? Oh, you want me to pretend like you're being smart. You are so condescending. And you can be so ungrateful. I got you that job at Hellerman's because you said you needed one and I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to work together. And then you tell me that you got that bartending job when I already vouched for you. 
See, this is what I'm talking about when I say you don't listen. I told you that I needed more money than that sales position at Hellerman's offered. I told you that last month when you first brought it up. Yes, but you didn't talk to me before I already talked to my manager. You said that you might talk to him, and I said you didn't have to. Unlike you, I actually listened to the other person. Unlike you, I actually say things worth listening to. You're lovely, absolutely. Is dead. I'm sorry, what's wrong? Nothing. As usual, I'm completely overreacting, being insufferable and melodramatic. At least you're consistent. Oh, you're consistently ungrateful. Okay, well, I'm just gonna, you know, go back to the kitchen. Oh, why don't you show me the pool? Danny needs a break. Oh, come on. Hey, you awake? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to spook you. There's some water and some crackers. Probably want to get hydrated and get some crackers. Nothing too heavy, just your stomach has more than alcohol. Uh, where am I? My guest bedroom. You're with your friends and you got drunk and they left. Yep, they left. Yeah. Later, I found you out in the back area and spent about 20 minutes helping you find somewhere to sit and talk to you, but you passed out. Then I went back to the party to find your friends, but they left and the party was shutting down. What are you talking about? That's what I'm telling you. At that point, it was either bring you back to my place or take you to a hospital. You know, your phone had died and I didn't have a charger that matches. Who are you? My name's Edgar. I saw you needed help and I did my best. Um, that, that doesn't make sense because, because my friends wouldn't leave me. I'm sorry, but I couldn't find them. I, I didn't even have that much to drink, and my phone, my phone should be charged enough to use. I don't know about your phone. Maybe you're just mistaken how charged it was. As for your friends, I saw you get into a big argument with them and your friends storm off. I tried to find them, but I couldn't. She wouldn't leave me. Maybe she didn't know how much you had to drink and thought you were fine. You should keep drinking water. Who are you? I told you. My name's Edgar. Where are we? My house. Don't worry. Those sheets have been washed. Where's your house? Near Topeka. That's almost two hours away. 
Oh, what don't did... push yourself. Don't push yourself. Here. I'll get you some more water. Please, can I can I use your phone to call my friend? I'll see. Stay right there. Here's your water. I need to go. Oh, you need to finish sobering up first. Can I use your phone? Sorry. I dropped my phone into water. I put it in a bag of rice, but it'll be a few hours before it's working again. Are you shitting me? Really? But don't worry. In a few hours, it'll be working, and your friends can come pick you up. If they still are your friends, that is. Well, well, you, you could give me a ride back. Sorry. I loan my car to a friend, so I won't be back until tomorrow. But that's OK. We can get to know each other. I can cook you some food. You know, we can have a nice conversation. It's been a while since you've actually just talked to someone. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't want to have a conversation. I don't want to be here. I want to get the fuck out of here and get back to my friends. Well, you can't. Your phone doesn't work. My phone doesn't work. My car isn't here. There's nothing around here for miles. And it's way too cold for you to walk, so you're not going anywhere. So, we're stuck here. Might as well make the best of it. I, is this a joke? This one a joke. Who are you? Are you OK? I keep telling you my name is Edgar. Edgar Lorne, son of Myra Lorne. I, is this a prank? Hey, this must be really disorienting. You just need to relax. So, tell me about yourself. What? What's your name? Danielle. Pleased to meet you, Danielle. So tell me more about you. Huh? What do you like to do? What's your day like? Um, I, I go to college and I, I work part-time in a coffee shop. Um, I... Please, I just, I, just, I just really want to go. Calm down, Danielle. You're sounding a bit hysterical. Now, what are you studying in college? I don't know. Honey, you must have some idea what you're studying. Business admin? Well, that's good. That's something practical. I did the same thing. I went into management. I managed the local pharmacy. I own this house, free and clear, and my car. So all I need to worry about is utilities, property tax, gas, food, that sort of thing. I made sure that I could support a family someday. I, I really, I really want to just get in touch with my friend. How far are you through your degree? Three semesters left. Great. You know what you want to do with it yet? I, um, at, actually, I, I really need to use the bathroom. Oh. Well, of course you do. You drank all that water. Here, let me help you. You know, I think I'm feeling much better. I, I got it. I, in, I insist. You look better. Um, you got a computer? Sure. 
Unfortunately, the internet's down. Of course it is. But that's okay. We can watch some movies, play some games, or just talk, get to know each other. I, I don't Oh, I don't here, let me give you a tour of the house. Come on. Uh, so, there's the guest room. You know where that is. Uh, there's my room upstairs. Here's the living room. And then to the left, we have the kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. Come on, I'll cook you something. I got plenty of food right here. I am actually a pretty good cook. I know a lot of men expect the women to do all the cooking, but I learned myself. I took some classes. They were fun. You should try them. Uh, I got turkey, chicken, some really good Alfredo sauce. Um, actually, maybe just some water. I can get it. No, I got it. No! I can get it. Just want to do something for myself. I have bottled water. This is fine. Okay, you're gonna need something more substantive than just water and crackers. You know what, you're right. Maybe you can make me something after all. Sure, what do you like? I don't know. How about turkey sandwiches? That sound good, something simple? Sure. Great. Got a special lock on it. Needs a coat on the inside, same as the outside. Come back and have dinner with me. Unlock the door. You can't go walking out in those temperatures. You'll freeze. Come back to the kitchen where it's warm. Why won't you let me leave? I just told you, silly. Come on back. Baby, it's cold outside. Don't you fucking call me baby! I was just trying to be funny. Just relax. Come back. We'll get to know each other. I don't I don't want to get to know you. I, I want to leave. I want to get out of here. So will you please just open the fucking door? Stop being hysterical. Come on back. I could be really good for you if you give me a chance. I'm not giving you anything, you creepy shit! I help you. I take care of you after your friends abandon you. And this is the thanks I get? My friends didn't abandon me. They wouldn't do that. Really? You think that dumb bimbo and her boyfriend really care about you? You think those guys you spread your legs for every night give a shit about you? A nice, decent man comes in your life and you throw him away just so you go back to being a mattress for all the chads on campus? Really are a sick fuck. Just please open the door. I was really hoping you'd be different. We could have shared something special. That maybe you were a little more than just another slut. The only thing I'm sharing with you is this cane to the side of your fucking head!
You awake? Brought you some water and some crackers. No. Sorry, didn't mean to spook you. No, stop no, being his, stop no, being hysterical. No, no, no. Hey, hey, no, hey, Jesus no, Christ, calm no, down. No, no, no. Jesus no. Christ, I'm just trying to help you. No. I'm just trying to help no. you. You fucking greed. All right, why are you making me do this? No. I don't want to hurt you. No. I don't want to hurt you. No. Hey, you awake? Sorry, didn't mean to spook you. Here's some water and some crackers I brought you. Probably want to get hydrated to get some crackers. You know, nothing too heavy, just so your stomach has a little more than alcohol. Where am I? My guest bedroom. Uh, you were with your friends, and then you got drunk, and they left. Later, I found you in the back area and spent about 20 minutes helping you find somewhere to sit and talk to you, but you passed out. Then I went back into the party to find your friends, but they left and the party was shutting down. And at that point, it was either bring it back to my place or take you to a hospital. Your phone had died and I didn't, I didn't have didn't a didn't charger that matched my phone. Yeah. Hey, how'd you do that? It was like you completed my sentence. I had a dream. What? Never mind. No, come on, what'd you dream? That I, I saw my dead grandfather. You know, my mother died a few years ago. It's okay. You don't have to be nervous. I'm a friend. You're not angry with me? Why would I be angry with you? No reason. I, could I actually have some of that water? Sure. Mm. Wow, I must have drank too much last night. <laughs> I guess maybe you did. <laughs> Do you think, um, maybe I could just rest somewhere? I'm feeling really tired and, and we could talk later. Of course. Oh, uh, my name's Edgar, by the way. Danielle. Rest now, Danielle. <laughs> You know what? You've had plenty of rest. You needed some movement. I, I'm still feeling really groggy. You'll be fine. Come on. It's only been a couple minutes. You said I could rest. You know what? This will help. <laughs> what the fuck? E, you're wide awake now. What was that? They're called smelling salts. One whiff of those and instantly pumps you up. Now get up. See? All you needed was some walking around and you're much more awake. Listen, when do you think you're gonna be able to take me back to my friends? They're probably really worried about me. Unfortunately, my car's gonna be a while. I loaned it to a friend and the roads are just so icy. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be a few days. But your friends didn't look like they were gonna miss you much. Um, that's actually because I was waiting for my boyfriend. Yeah, he's probably gonna be really worried, actually. Um, maybe we could flag, you know, a car down or, or something. I just, I don't want him to be worried. He's gonna be so grateful to you, you know, that you made sure that I came to safety. What's his name? Paul. 
Last name? Platts. Paul Platts? Sounds like a comic book name. He's, he's real. Oh, really? How long have you two been together? Almost a year and a half. Do you have someone special? You're gonna ones? get married? What? Are you going to get married? I, I don't know. You live together? N not yet, we've talked about it. So you're moving in soon then? I don't know. So you wanna live together but not get married? I don't know. I think you're lying to me, Danny. I, I'm not. I think you're so used to getting pumped and dumped that you would throw away a nice, decent guy who only wants to take care of you. I'm already taken. Why'd your Facebook page say single, Danny? Why is there no Paul Platts anywhere? You do have a message from a guy literally named Chad thanking you for the wild Saturday adventure. Now, what's that about? You're having random sex in the middle of the day. Meanwhile, you're treating nice, decent men like shit. Chad's gay. We're going to see. And all the other guys. The guys you were flirting with at the party. The guys who you let bend you over every night. Please don't hurt me. Oh, you don't want me to hurt you? Because that's Chad's job, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, please don't. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I... Why did you lie to me? I, I, w I was scared. I, I'm sorry. I don't want to hurt you, Danielle. I want to help you. You just have to be with, honest with me. You understand? Now let's just start over. Can we do that? Good? Yeah, I want to start over. I'm, I'm sorry, I was scared. And, uh, you know, waking up in a place that you've never been before and... Oh, I, I understand. Don't worry. So, from the beginning... Mm -hmm. My name's Edgar. Danielle. Pleased to meet you, Danielle. Pleased to meet you, Danielle. So, oh, Danielle, what kind of movies do you like to watch? Um, I watch a lot of short films on YouTube. Short films? Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of busy, so I don't really have time for full-length movies. Well, you'll have to show me those sometime. You know, one of my favorite movies is The Breakfast Club. I love that movie so much because it's all about a group of people who think they have nothing in common, learning just how similar they are. Yeah, I mean, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it yet. I want to, though. It's also a really great romance. Uh, there's this guy. He's from the other side of the tracks. And this rich girl. And she doesn't have any true friends in her life. She has parents that could buy her anything she could possibly want. But what she needs is a companion. And he helps her to see that and that he can give her something that all of daddy's money and approval from her shallow friends can. I think that kind of love, well, everyone deserves that. Um, I, I actually, I think I, we, my friends are gonna be looking for me. I don't want them to worry. Your friends left you. They don't care. Yes, you're right. I know it's hard to hear, but Kylie and her boyfriend, Benny, are too caught up in themselves. Kylie threw away that job you got her, and she wasn't even grateful, Danny. You've been stalking me. I could see in your eyes that you had a sadness, a loneliness. I knew you needed help. Help with what? Your life. How many men have you had sex with? That is none of your fucking business. You're trying to help. Now answer the question, Danny. How many men have you let bang you? What difference does it make? Don't you see? That's your problem. You have no idea what it feels like to be loved and cared for. You keep trying to get validation from these guys who think nothing of you. Like that guy you were grinding up against at the party. This is a nightmare. Doesn't have to be. Guys like you're used to. That's not real. Let me show you what real love feels like. Ah! 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 Ah, you're hurting me! Stop fighting and it won't hurt! There, see? 
Jesus Christ, what the fuck is wrong with you? I was just trying to show you some affection. Are you gonna rape me? What? No, I'm not gonna rape you. I'm a good guy. I'm a good person. I, I support Black Lives Matter and the BDS movement. I, I went to an anti-fascist rally. I donated money to Me Too. I didn't want you to touch me. But you didn't say no. What? If you had said no, I wouldn't have made a move. I've been saying no since I got here. No, I don't want you to touch me, Ed. No, I don't want to get out of bed before I'm ready, Ed. No, I don't want to get to know you, Ed! But you didn't say the word no. And oh, you didn't say it. Of course not, I didn't want you to hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. God, why do all you bitches think I'm gonna hurt you? You're keeping me prisoner. Why wouldn't I think you want to hurt me? I just want to be given a chance. If you didn't try to run away, I wouldn't have to lock you up. I did. You did what? I did give you a chance. On the couch. And then you started asking me all these inappropriately private questions, and then you touched me before I was ready. There's other guys you'd let touch you. What's so wrong with me? Why can't I just get a yes? Because I don't want you. Because you're broken. You're broken beyond repair. <coughs> I'm too good for you! You fucking understand me? You don't deserve me! It's Edgar, by the way. Danielle. Rest now, Danielle. Something for you. He, he's watching me somehow. He always knows what I'm doing. Do not give up. Do not quit. I'm Edgar, by the way. I'm Danielle. Rest now, Danielle. Right in there? Yeah, just fine, Edgar. Just wanted some privacy is all. It's my house. Not anymore. 
I'm laying claim to it. What does that mean? It means I've invented a new rule. You kidnap me, I get to keep your house. I didn't kidnap you, I rescued you. You say tomato, I say tomato. <clears throat> Can you please let me in? Yes. Danielle? Yes. Can you open the door? Yes, I can. Are you going to? Nope. Open the door, Danielle. I'm not going to do that, Edgar. Open the damn door, Danielle! You need to calm down, Edgar Lauren. You're sounding a little hysterical. How'd you know my full name? How'd you know mine? I heard someone say it at the party. Bullshit. But OK. Hey, Edgar, you don't happen to have a girlfriend, do you? I. Uh, no, not yet. And I didn't even have to look on your Facebook to figure that one out. I just want to talk to you. We are talking. This isn't really talking. I want to be able to see your face and look into your eyes. OK. You promise you won't hurt me? Of course I won't hurt you. I want to help you. OK. Close the door and let me open it. You're going to have to tell me the code for the door lock. What do you mean? I want to know the code for the locked door. You could just move the bed so that I can open the door? Can I trust you? Yes. You promise? Of course. Then, as a show of good faith, tell me the code. How do I know that I can trust you? You know, sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. That's what you're asking me to do, right? You know, no relationship can be built without trust. Show me that I can trust you, and I'll show you that you can trust me. OK. It's eight, zero, eight, eight. Close the door and let me open it. You told the truth? Yes. Are you going to let me in now? Problem is, you lied about everything else. You said you would let me in. And you said that you wouldn't hurt me, but considering that you've killed me mm, five times by now, I know how untrue that is. What? Not letting you in, Edgar. Goddamn lying cunt! Oh, yeah, that is going to make me change my mind. I trusted you, and you betrayed me. And me. There is no such thing as betrayal. You're just like all the rest. You just like all the. What rest? Just open the door. You said I was just like all the rest. The rest of what? What? I'm not the first woman that you've done this to, am I? There's been others. What are you talking about? I brought you here because I wanted to help you. Okay, so I was the first woman. Your test run. No, I saw you get drunk at the party. I did the only thing I could think of. Oh, yeah. The only thing you could think of was to drive me out miles, lock me up in your weird fortress house. I mean, what even are those keypad locks? They're not that pricey, and they're more convenient than key locks. And you put them on every door in the house? Who does that? I mean, how can you not see how crazy you are? You're the one acting crazy. You're blocking the door. You're trashing the room. You're accusing me of all this bad stuff. You don't even know me. You haven't even taken the chance to talk to me before losing your shit. Why does everyone just assume I'm a bad guy? Huh? Who's everyone? Oh, stop it. You said everyone assumes you're a bad guy. Who's everyone? Other people who judge me before they get to know me. But don't give me a chance out there in the world. Not people I kidnap, just people in general. God, stop being so paranoid. Maybe I wasn't paranoid enough. How did you know I was going to be at that party? I didn't. Yes, you did. You came for me. How did you know I was going to be at that party, and how did you pick me? It was just a coincidence. I saw you get drunk. No, it was not just a coincidence. You've been on my Facebook. I posted I would, I would be there. How did you how did you pick me? Have we met before? Just, damn it, tell me the truth. I swear to you, I have never met you before tonight. Just tell me, why me out of everyone? Why me? It was your Cupid's arrow profile. The dating app? I saw your profile and I was amazed. You were standing on that hilltop, the wind blowing, and this incredible look of joy on your face. You are so beautiful. I remember the quote. 
We are not put on this earth simply to survive. We are meant to thrive. Now that I think about it, that quote's kind of sappy. I messaged you last month and you never responded. I didn't give out any personal information. I used a screen name. How did you find my Facebook? The pictures on your profile were also on your Facebook. It was just a simple reverse image search. Oh, Jesus Christ. Your Facebook wasn't set to private, and I saw that you're going to be at this party. And I thought, maybe if we just meet face to face, you'll give me a chance. Then I saw how drunk you got, and your friends left, and I just wanted to help. Oh, I feel so wicked out. Listen to me. You are so beautiful and special. You're so desperate for someone who can actually see you and give you the love and attention you deserve. The other guys you met on that site couldn't give you that, but I can. Those guys who threw you away were losers. But I saw how special you were. I can give you the love you deserve, if you'll let me. You know why I made that profile? Out of curiosity. I just had never made one before, and I wanted to to try it out. I went on like two dates with guys and that was it. I basically forgot about it. So whatever you have in your mind is some crazy fantasy that you've just created. That's not true. If you'll just give me a chance. I gave you plenty of chances. And you have just shown me every single time that your dick is fully in the peanut butter. What? You're fucking nuts. Go fuck yourself, Eddie. Is that the window? Fuck. You got to be kidding me. Oh shit. This isn't really talking. I want to be able to see your face and look into your eyes. No, thank you. Been there, done that. Danny, please, there's no reason for you to be like this. Oh, it is so annoying when you call me Danny. What? Hey, Edgar, I actually have a question for you. What are you doing in there? Answer my question, I'll answer yours. What? You're gonna give me an honest answer? Yes. You promise? Yes, I promise. Have you ever raped anyone? What? No, absolutely not. You sure about that? Never. You're safe with me. I don't think I believe that. You want to know why? Why? Because you have a real problem with taking no for an answer. No matter how many times I say no, you continue to force yourself on me. I never touched you like that. You kidnapped me, are holding me captive, and you get homicidal whenever I insist I don't want you. Okay, you're being so hysterical. No, actually, this is the calmest that I've felt since this shitty night began. Wait, what are you doing in there? You said you would answer me if I answered you. I'm trashing the room. Something I used to do as a child whenever I was frustrated. You're acting so strange right now. You're one to talk. All I tried to do was help you. Hey, Ed, have you ever thought about telepathy? Like, what it would be like to actually be connected to someone else's thoughts to really feel what they feel? You ever thought about that? I don't get what the hell you're talking about. Just open the door. Just open the door. <laughs> you know, Ed, ever since this ridiculously long night began, all you've been talking about is how much you want us to get to know each other. Well, guess what? Now you can. So why don't you stop complaining about how I won't give you a chance and take the chance that I'm giving you to answer my question. What's your question again? Mm. You know, I wish that you would actually pay attention to what I say. What do you think it would be like to have telepathy, to think someone else's thoughts? It's not really possible. I mean, somebody that might be. They'll network minds the same way they network computers. I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Isn't that what conversation is? Isn't that what trying to get to know someone is to really comprehend how the other person's mind works? I'd like to know how your mind works. If you'll let me. Just open the door and we'll talk and share and really connect. You can't. You're not capable of connecting to another person, you lack empathy for others. Others lack empathy for me. I have tried to empathize with you. I've tried to get inside that mind of yours, but you keep lying to me. I haven't lied to you, Danielle. You know, as much as I can understand, you built up this, you know, kind of wall of denial in your mind that convinces yourself that you're not the bad guy. 
I'm not the bad guy. Really? Then why are you so afraid of the police? What makes you so sure I'm afraid of the police? The fact that you took my phone away. And you probably turned it off so that no one would be able to track the previous locations. The fact that you had to get me away from the party alone because you know if the police found you, they would send you to jail and everyone would think you're a bad person. I wouldn't be the first good person to go to jail. I deserve a chance to be happy. I'm through not getting what I want. What is it that you want, Edgar? Because it's obviously not to truly connect with me. To fuck me? Yeah, you could have done that when I was passed out. You want me to want you to go on my knees and suck your dick and tell you it tastes like a lollipop. How many dicks have you sucked? If you really wanted that, you could have just gotten a sex worker to tell you how amazing you were. So what do you really want? I want to be given a chance. What do you want, Edgar? Why are you being so- What do you want, Edgar? I- What do you want, Edgar Lorne? I want that happy ending I was promised. My mother, society, every single goddamn movie told me that I would know love. I want to know what it feels like to have a woman look me in the eyes and give me the love I know I deserve. I'm tired of seeing other guys get that while I'm left with nothing. I'm sick of girls like you telling me it's my fault that I'm alone. You fucking understand me? Danielle? Danielle! get over the fence because of the barbed wire and the house is completely isolated but but I do have the door code now well, at that point it was either bring it back to my place or take you to a hospital your phone had died and I didn't have a charge of the mattress you did all of this for me thank you guess I shouldn't drink so much I mean I, I hardly ever do but my friends are kind of pushing me too and actually my friends are often pushing me to do stuff like that. <laughs> you should see how crazy my Facebook page is. Well, I try to keep the crazy out of here. <laughs> is this your house? Yes. I inherited it when my mother died. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It was hard, but it's been a while now. This room is nice. Thanks. I try to keep things clean. Can I see the rest of the house? Wow, this place is so nice. You keep everything so tidy. My place is a mess. <laughs> well, maybe I could show you how to keep your place clean also. Maybe. Hey, what, what's this futuristic looking doorknob? You keep your secret treasure in there? Uh, that's just plumbing equipment and other stuff. There's so much better parts of the house, like the living room, my room. I'm actually really hungry. Do you think? Sure, yeah. Okay. Got a special lock. Needs a code on the inside, same as the outside. Oh, shit! you take a seat over there. Let me handle it. I just want to help. You know what? How about you put together the breading? Here. <laughs> Haven't gotten around to washing the metal utensils, so you're going to have to use plastic. 
I'm sure that's the truth. You know, it's actually been a while since I've cooked. Stick with me, you'll get plenty of chances. I just might take you up on that. I'm just curious what's outside. How does the outside look? I, it's all covered by the curtains. I'm pretty biased, but I actually think it looks really nice. I make it a point to keep it well maintained and mow it. Think I could take a look? Oh, it's so cold out and dark, you can hardly see anything. I'll give you the full tour tomorrow. Maybe. You know, actually, I kind of have to use the bathroom. Is that OK? Sure. It's uh, down the hall on the right. Thank you. Just relax. The big creep is buying it. You know, don't push too hard and just let him think that you're fine. Chicken and broccoli will be ready soon. Great. Any pasta? Gotta be honest, I don't think you need any pasta. Just a, sorry, a bit of a nervous habit. What's that picture? It's my mother's. Did you paint it? Yes. She was too self-conscious to hang it up herself. Hmm. I always told her how amazing it was, but... Yeah, I mean, I, I had this similar thing with my dad. He uh, was a really good writer. I always told him how good it was, but he was really doubtful of himself. Well, I only got him to publish it. Maybe you could read it? Maybe. You know, I just thought because, you know, you showed me your mom's painting and I thought my dad's... I gotta take the broccoli out. You gotta come with me. Come with me. You have to stay close. So you don't fall over from the alcohol. So, what do you do for work? I'm a shift leader at the local Wall Blues. Those still exist? Yeah. And you can afford all of this on that? When my mother died, her life insurance paid off the rest of the mortgage. I just need to make enough for property tax and utilities. You must miss her a lot. I sure do. But before she dies, she always talked about how everyone has a soulmate. I think that's what we're all trying to do. Just find that one person that completes us. There may be obstacles, but you just have to plow through them. When did she die? Three years ago. Try to keep her memory alive, though. I, uh, lost my dad a year ago. Car accident. Really? You lost your dad last year? Yeah. It's really weird, but I, I still post ads him on Facebook sometimes. You know, to make him feel like he's still in my life. You do? Yeah. I know, it sounds super sad and pathetic. No, no, absolutely not. I bet it keeps people from constantly bringing it up all the time. You know, shortly after I try it out, Cupid Zero. You know, the, the dating app. <laughs> Didn't really work, though. I kept getting a bunch of messages from jerks, and I stopped looking at it. I'm sorry. You deserve a nice guy. I can help with the dishes. OK. Hey, 
Here, have a seat. Thank you. Oh, you feel tense. A little bit. Actually, do you... I'm still feeling kind of dizzy. Do you think I could get some water? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Like this. Yes. Yes. Ah! Shit, Jim. He's got a camera in the bathroom? <gasps> well, of course he does. really are a sick fuck. And you're a lying, deceitful whore! I saw your Instagram and Facebook pages. How many of those guys you spread your legs for? And I saw how many women you kidnapped. How many of them did you murder? I gave them a chance. Same chance I gave you. The chance none of them ever gave me. None of you sluts want a good man. You just want to be pumped and dumped by chads. How fucking delusional do you have to be to think that you're a good guy? You kidnap and kill people! I give them a chance! I spent 15 years trying to get them to see me. I treated them respectfully. I told several women I know I could make happy how amazing they were, and they just pocketed my affection and went off to get banged by tattooed losers. Every time I could get one date! So you stopped taking no for an answer. Why not? People have a right to health care, and we need love! And we need love to be healthy, right? No, this isn't love. You can't force people to love you. And you'll never find anyone to love you because you are a monster. Wrong. Because I never hurt anyone and I was still always alone. But then you started hurting people. What the hell makes you so special that you have the right to kill people to think I so lonely? They're the reason I'm lonely. And you're just like all the rest of them. And I can't let you send me to prison. You probably want some crackers. Yeah, not to do heavy, just so your stomach has a little more than alcohol. No matter how much I drink, I always wake up thirsty. I think you put too much GHB in my drink. Next time you might want to lower the dose. I'm sorry? Well, you know, I get it. You want to make sure I sleep through the entire car ride, but my my heart could have stopped. Wait, that actually reminds me. How many women died before even getting here? I don't know what you're talking about. The woman that you kidnapped and roofied, how many of them died from being dropped? I didn't kidnap anybody. Why didn't you rape me? What? Oh, yeah, why didn't you rape me when I was, like, drugged and messed up? I'm not a rapist. I, I helped you. I'm the, I'm the good guy. I, I, I didn't drug you. You drank too much. I had one drink, Edgar. How'd you know my name? I had one drink. 
Edgar. You're remembering it wrong. I remember it just fine. Oh, no, you're confused because of the alcohol. It's not because of GHB. I don't know what you mean. I think you do, Ed. I think you know exactly what GHB does and that it can be fatal if given in too large of a dose. You're just confused. You already said that. Don't you have anything better? Why are you being like this? I only wanted to help you. No, no, no. You just want to satisfy your own pathetic need to hurt people that you blame for how sad you are. And you know that no one will ever love a monster like you. And all those women that wouldn't fuck you, much less live with you, you kidnapped them? And you didn't even have the balls to grab me by force. You had to drug me, wait till I was away from my friends, and then sneak me into your car. Your friends left you. I made sure you were okay. My friends care about me more than you have ever cared about anything in your entire miserable, hateful life. And if they knew what you did today, they would beat you to death with their own bare hands. You only know how to kill women that weigh a hundred pounds less than you. I didn't kill anybody. You don't even know me. Oh, I know you a hell of a lot better than you know me, Edgar. And you know what? I think you don't actually think that I'm gonna fall in love with you. I think you know somewhere in the back of your mind that, you know, and save your kidnapper teen, that you think that maybe a woman will actually fall in love with you. But no, no, you know that when you walk through that hallway with that stupid fucking tray, that you know that you were going to kill the person inside. It's not true. Oh, it is, Ed. You like killing. <laughs> Even if you were a CW actor, you would still feel that need for total domination. You would still get off on hurting women. Shut up. You would still be a perverted fuck who likes to hurt women. Shut up. Who the fuck knows why? <laughs> maybe, maybe your dad. Maybe watch your dad beat your mom. Or maybe your mom diddled you in the bathtub. I said shut up. Maybe, maybe watch too much porn as a kid. Or maybe you're just born wrong, rotten inside. I shut your fucking mouth. That's why your dad left. That he didn't have the balls to drown you in the bathtub like you should have been. And maybe your mom found out and that's why you killed her. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe it's because she committed suicide because she couldn't deal with the fact that something so perverted and disgusting and twisted came out of her body. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, and your mom felt that disgust for you, didn't she? The same disgust that every woman that you fix on sees in you. That same disgust that you feel because you know that no one would ever love a repulsive, twisted creep like you! <laughs> Every time I'm about to open that door, I pray she won't make me do this. That she won't be a heartless whore. That she'll give me the love I know I deserve. You almost gave up there. I can't keep doing this. No matter what I do, he keeps winning. How many times have you tried? I died more than 30 times when I was trying to save my soldiers in Vietnam. But I never gave up, and neither can you. I'm not as strong as you. You get strong by doing. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. Otherwise, you would not have put that ring back on your finger. You know what he wants. You know how to win. You have so much to live for. And so many people need you. You are strong enough. No way.
Took you out too much to drink. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Stay. Hey, you awake? Here's some water and some crackers. Nothing too heavy, just so your stomach has a little more than alcohol. Uh, where am I? My guest bedroom. Uh, you're with your friends and you got drunk and they left. Uh, later I found you out in the back area and spent about 20 minutes helping you to find somewhere to sit and talk to you, but you passed out. Then I went back to the party to find your friends, but they left and the party was shutting down. So at that point it was either bring it back to my place or take you to a hospital. Your phone had died and I didn't have a charger that matches. I can't believe they left me. Actually, I guess I can. They were always pushing me to drink more and do things I didn't want to do. Thank you for taking care of me. Um, you... Edgar. I'm Danielle. You're gonna have to give me a moment to recover. Take as much time as you need. Uh, thanks for your patience. I mean, I, I, I can't believe they're always pushing me to do these things and just... Never mind, you don't, you don't wanna hear about that. No, I do. Oh, okay, um, sure. Do you mind if I use the bathroom first? Sure. Thank you. Hungry at all? Oh, I mean, I couldn't ask you for anything else. You've been so kind already. Oh, really? I want to help you. Are you sure? I, I don't want to be a burden. Absolutely. You're no burden. What can I do for you? Um, I mean, maybe something light to soak up all the alcohol my so called friends <laughs> gave me. Of course. Thank you. So, tell me about yourself. Well, uh, I live here by myself. Used to be my mother's house, but she died a few years ago. Oh my God, that's so sad. Yeah, I still miss her. You have a girlfriend? No. Oh, well, surprising. Really? Yeah, you're just... You're just the kind of guy... Like what? I don't know, I just... You've been really nice to me, and you just seem like the... A good, decent man. I just figured you'd have a lot of chances by now. Well... I try, I just... I haven't met the right woman yet. I know where that goes. I seem to like... 
attract the wrong kind of men, you know what I mean? Just the kind that's always pushing me to be this big party girl. You know, I'm posting the bad photos on Facebook. Not just same goes with my so-called friends. I think this night has been a wake-up call, you know? That uh, I need to really be looking and paying attention to who I surround myself with. Mm, I, I shouldn't be telling you about my boring, pathetic life. <laughs> no, no, you're absolutely fine. I want to be a friendly ear. I'm not bothering you. You're not bothering me at all. Really? Really. I care about you. <sighs> you just seem so sweet. You're sure you don't have a girlfriend? <laughs> no, I was wondering if it would ever really happen. Well, just because things have been bad in the past doesn't mean it won't be better in the future. As long as you don't give up hope. Yeah. It's a really good philosophy. Oh, yeah, I think so, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm actually really tired. Do you think I could maybe take a nap? Sure. Uh, I'll take care of your dishes. The couch okay? Sure. Uh, you don't want that big, comfy guest bed? No, I don't want to be like a half hour. <laughs> Stay if you want. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> I woke up like 20 minutes ago. You were still sleeping. I didn't want to wake you. You look out of breath. I was just nervous when I couldn't find you. How'd you get the door open? It was loose. Unlocked. It was unlocked? Yeah, I don't know how to work that futuristic lock-looking thing you have. <laughs> As I was always losing my keys. <laughs> hey, come sit next to me. I just want some fresh air. It's so pretty out here. I was actually thinking that maybe we could take a drive out later and you could show me the area. I don't really feel like going back to my old life right now. <laughs> maybe. I actually, I don't mean to impose or anything, but do you think maybe I could stay here for a couple days? I I just don't really feel like seeing anyone from my old life right now. Well, I... Oh my god, I'm so sorry. That was so stupid to ask, and I was totally overcrossing the line. No, 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 no. 
I'd love for you to stay. You don't have to just say that. No, really. Stay as long as you want. You're so sweet. This is just how I was raised. Do you actually think we could go inside? It's really cold out here. Of course. <laughs> I'm feeling really wide awake. How about you? Uh, Maybe we could cook something after all? Okay. I got it. Oh. Don't want you to burn yourself. Okay. Oh, hey, I got this. I don't want you to cut yourself. It's okay. You can trust me. Okay. So I know you said you didn't have a girlfriend, but you want any dating apps? No. It's such a funny story. Um, a few months ago, I think, I borrowed my guy friend's photo um, and made like a fake profile and stuff, just, you know, to see what it would be like to try to get a date from the guy's perspective. You know, trying to get a coffee date with a girl or something, and that was actually pretty damn hard. <laughs> Gave me a lot more sympathy for you guys, you know, what you have to go through. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I, I'm so clumsy. No, it's totally fine. I got it. Sorry. It's all right. Hey, can I have one more question for you? Yeah. Oh! 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 No. You're done. You've lost. Why? Because I earned this. I thought you liked me. That's because you're fucking stupid. You're a monster. <laughs> you think you're the victim here? You tricked me! I did what I had to do to survive. And I'm gonna win. And I'm gonna be with the people who actually love me. And you? You're gonna be remembered as the pathetic mama's boy who killed women. No, I know about the others. The women that you kidnapped and murdered? I did. I saw the photos in your basement, Edgar. Oh. Same way that I know that there's another existence. I've seen the light. And it's beautiful. And warm. And so far from lonely. 
And you know what? You're not going to get to see it. Because you're going to the dark, the deep, lonely dark that's a thousand times worse than your worst nightmare. You can see it. Can't you? The dark. Pulling you in. Your final home. Where you will always deserve to be. Danny, where have you been? We've been looking for you. Did you get a ride with someone else? Ah, uh, not exactly. Oh my god, it's so good to hear your voice. I was afraid that you had left because you were angry with me. You're still angry with me. That silly little argument. I've already forgotten about it. You know I love you, right? Are you okay? Where'd you go? Steve said that he saw you with some big guy. Um, so I'm gonna tell you something cried and crazy and I need you to believe me. That doesn't sound good. Don't freak out, but a guy refused my drink. What? Yeah, and he kidnapped me, and I am literally here in his house. Are you serious? I'm deadly serious. I, um, I already called the police, but I could use a ride. Can I send you my location? Yeah, of course, whatever you need. Uh, it's, it's like a hour and a half away. You can't miss it, there's gonna be a bunch of cop cars out here. Holy shit, what about the guy? I mean, are you okay? What about the guy? You know, I'm... I'll, I'll fill you in on the details later. Just know I'm gonna be okay. 
but he fucking won't be.